Before starting the chain quest to receive Welcome your Blessing Medallion of Karabor, it's Very helpful to make your hearth as Shrine of Two Moons or Shrine of Seven Stars. Travel to your city's portal room located on the upper level of the city opposite the upper level bank. Click the portal to Shatrath. Go outside and speak with Haggard War Veteran at coordinates 5941. You can also find him wandering the bridges that leave Shatrath to go to Terakar Forest. Accept the quest Adal. How are you? Go back inside the Terrace of Light and speak with Adal at coordinates 5444. Turn in this quest and accept City of Light from Khadgar, standing next to Adal. We will find a way through this. Be vigilant, friend. Khadgar will summon his servant. You must follow the Voidwalker-like NPC around Shatrath for your tour, which takes over eight minutes. After completing this quest, turn it into Khadgar, located at 5444. Hmm. You'll need to decide which faction to align yourself with and accept that quest. For purposes of this series of video guides, I'll be focusing on the Aldor faction version. Fly to Altar of Shatar in Shadowmoon Valley. Accept the quest Tablets of Bahari from Sela inside the building at coordinates 6229. Greetings, friend. Be kind to those less fortunate. Exit the building and travel south to the ruins of Bahari in the vicinity of coordinates 5934. On the ground, you'll see a greenish glowing object called Bahari Tablet Fragment. Loot 12 of these fragments. Work complete. After you've picked up 12 fragments, travel north back to Sela at 6228 and turn the quest in. May the light embrace you. Blessings upon Except the you. quest Aranu the Elder from Sela. May your days be long and your hardships. Exit the building and fly southwest to coordinates 5732, where you will find Aranu the Elder. Defeat Aranu and loot orders from Akama off his corpse. Work complete. Fly northeast back to coordinates 6228 and turn the quest into Sela. One wishes to you. Kronakai Christor. Except the quest the Ashton Corruptors Sela. from Sela. Exit the building and fly west to coordinates 4923. Destroy the corrupt water totem that are surrounding Lacan. Once that's done, Lacan will become killable. Defeat him and loot his medallion fragment off his corpse. Work complete. Travel south to coordinates 4839.
Destroy the corrupt fire totem and then kill Uilaro, looting the fragment off his corpse. Travel south to 5152. Destroy the Earth Totems, then Ikean, looting his fragment. Travel southeast to coordinates 5773. Destroy the air totems that are surrounding Halam. Once that's done, defeat him and loot Halam's medallion fragment off the corpse. Work complete. Fly north back to Selad, coordinates 6228, and turn the quest in. The Naru have not forgotten us. Dionysaka. Accept the quest the Warden's Cage from Selah. Exit the building and fly south to coordinates Go down the stairs that lead underground and turn the quest into Sonaro. Must not give up. Fight. Accept Must proof of allegiance from Sonaro at 5749 in the Warden's Cage. Go back up the ramp and look for a satyr named Xandras. He'll be walking around the upper or lower levels of the Warden's Cage with his two imps. After defeating him, go back to Sonaro and turn the quest in. But so long. Accept a comma from Sonaro at 5749 in the Warden's Cave. Travel straight down the sewer-like tunnel in front of you, hang a right at 5747 and jump in the water. Swim the water passage and turn in the quest to a comma at coordinates 5848. We must never change. Light is our strength. Our walls are Except the quest Siradalu from Akama at 5848 in the Warden's Cage. Exit the Warden's Cage. Fly north either on your mount or griffin taxi at Area 52 Nether Storm. Travel to Arcatraz, Tempest Keep. The coordinates for Arcatraz are 7457.
Enter Architraz and continue through its walkways until you reach the bosses Delilah and Sokothrats. After defeating the bosses, go to the stairs in the passageway of 3257 and continue onward to the containment core. Locate a dead broken at coordinates 3125 named Udalu. Interact with this corpse to turn this quest in. Interact with Udalu's corpse in the Architraz dungeon at 3125 and accept a mysterious portent. Use your hearthstone and go to the city's portal room, clicking on the portal to Shatrath. Once you've arrived on the other side of the portal, interact with the Griffin Flight Master at 6341. Each day is a blessing. Fly to Shadowmoon Village if you are Horde, or Wildhammer Stronghold if you're Alliance. Fly east to coordinates 5749. Go down the ramp leading underground and travel to a comad coordinates 5848 and turn in the quest. Our faith cannot be broken. Light guide you. We must never change. Accept the quest, the Atomal Terrace, from a comma at never 5848 in the Warden's Cage. Exit the Warden's Cage. Fly northeast to coordinates 7134. Defeat the three Shadow Moon Soul Stealers. Shadow Lord Death Whale will fly in on his Drake. Kill him once he lands and loot the Heart of the Fury from his corpse.
Work complete. Fly southwest to coordinates 5749. Go down the ramp leading underground and travel to a comad coordinates 5848 and turn in the quest. Our walls are impervious. Light is our strength. Our faith cannot be broken. Accept the quest Akama's Promise from Akama at 5848 in the Warden's Cage. Exit the Warden's Cage. Fly to Shatra City, either via Griffin, Flightmaster, or your flying mount. See you soon. Speak with and turn in the quest to a doll at coordinates fifty four forty four. Fly to Coilfang Reservoir. The entrance is located underwater in Zangamarsh at coordinates 5040. Open your heart to the light. Be kind to those who are sick. Follow the underwater steam tunnel. The entrance to Serpent Shrine Cavern will be located in front of you at coordinates 5133. Take the elevator in front of you down below. Once off the elevator, continue straight ahead and go up the elevator in front of you. Follow the wooden walkways to coordinates 5539.
continue to follow this path, defeating Tidewalker. Follow the path around to 4817 where you will find Fathom Ward. <laughs> Defeat him and his minions. Once the Fathom Lord has been killed, Seer Olam will leave his cage at coordinates 4818. Accept the secret compromised from Olam. You can exit this instance and fly back to Shadowmoon Valley or Hearth. If you used your hearthstone, go to the city's portal room and click on the portal to Shatrath. Once you've arrived on the other side of the portal, interact with the Griffin Flight Master at 6341. The Naru have not forgotten us. Fly to Shadowmoon Village or Wildhammer Stronghold. Fly east to coordinates 5749. Go down the ramp leading underground and travel to a comad coordinates 5848 and turn in the quest. We must never change. Light guide you. A comma, my friend. We must never change. Accept the quest Ruse of the Ash Chunk from a comrade, 5848, in the Warden's Cage. Exit the Warden's Cage. Fly north to Netherstorm, either on your mount, or take a Griffin taxi to Area 52. Travel to the Eye, Tempest Keep. The coordinates for the Eye are 7363. Once inside the Raid Instance, click on the Ash Tongue Cowl. Travel straight ahead into the Phoenix Hall to 4963.
defeat Alar. You can exit this instance and fly back to Shadowmoon Valley or Hearth. If you used your Hearthstone, go to the city's portal room and click on the portal to Shatrath. Once you've arrived on the other side of the portal, interact with the Griffin Flightmaster at 6341. Arcanon Poros. Fly to Shadowmoon Village or Wildhammer Stronghold. Fly east to coordinates 5749. Go down the ramp leading underground and travel to a comad coordinates 5848 and turn in the quest. Our faith cannot be broken. Never hesitate. Our walls are impervious. Accept the quest, an artifact from the past from Akama, right, in the strength. Warden's Gage. Travel to Dalaran either via one of the Dalaran teleport rings or by using your hearthstone and clicking on the Dalaran Northrend portal. Since you will need your hearthstone soon, I would recommend using a teleport ring. Travel to a building in Dalaran whose entrance is located at 3248. Go up the stairs, and to your left, click the portal labeled Dalaran Portal to Caverns of Time. At the Caverns of Time, head into the tunnel in front of you, underground to coordinates 4824. Enter the raid instance, Battle for Mount Hyjal. Enter the instance portal located on your left, which is not gated. Speak with Lady Proudmore and select, My companions and I are with you. Starting this will activate the first waves of mobs to come forth. Go to coordinates 770 and defeat the waves of mobs as they reach you, without letting any pass into the Alliance base. After defeating the 10 waves of trash, Rage Winterchill will approach. Defeat him and loot the time-phased phylactery from his corpse. Use your hearthstone and then go to the city's portal room and click the portal to Shatrath. Yeah. 
Once you've arrived on the other side of the portal, interact with the Griffin Flightmaster at 6341. Warm wishes to you. Fly to Shadow Moon Village or Wild Hammer Safe. Stronghold. Fly east to coordinates 5749. Go down the ramp leading underground and travel to a combat coordinates 5848 and turn in the quest. Our faith cannot be broken. Light guide you. We must never change. Accept the quest hostage soul from a comma. Hesitate. Exit the warden's cage. Fly to Shatrath City, either via Griffin Flightmaster or your flying mount. You got my attention? Safe travels. Speak with and turn in the quest to a doll at coordinates fifty four forty four. Accept the quest Entry into the Black Temple from Adal at 5444 in Shatrath City. Interact with the Griffin Flightmaster at 6341. Open your heart to the light. Fly to Shadowmoon Village or Wildhammer Stronghold. Fly east to the Black Temple at coordinates 6544 and turn in the quest to Ziri. Accept the quest A Distraction for a Comma from Ziri at 6544. Speak to Ziri and select I am ready to join your forces in battle. Wait approximately 30 seconds before Ziri begins channeling Light of the Naru. It'll take about another 20 seconds for the channeling to finish and for you to receive the buff Light of the Naru. Attack the Illidari mobs that spawn in front of you. 
as you race toward the Black Temple. Doing this will attract the attention of Vagra. Kill Vagath when he comes out of the portal. Now's the time, Maeth. Unleash your wrath. I have waited for this moment for years. Illidan and his lapdogs will be destroyed. Slay all who see us. Word must not get back to Illidan. After Vagath's defeat, Akama will enter the Black Temple via the sewer entrance. Once he enters, travel back to Ziri at 6544 to turn in the quest. Work complete. Accept the quest, seek out the Ash Tongue from Ziri in Shadowmoon Valley in front of the Black Temple. Enter the Black Temple through the same sewer entrance as Akama at coordinates 7146. Make your way through the sewer entrance inside the Black Temple, defeating High Warlord and Supremus. After entering the doors past Supremus, continue around and up the stairs in front of you. Speak to Seer Kanai at coordinates 6250 Hello, and turn in the quest. Roma hect gota. Accept the quest Redemption light. of the Ash Tongue from Seer Kanai. Must remember the light. 
Travel to coordinates 4068 and enter that room. Speak to a stealth the comma at 4074 and select I am with you. Defeat the Ashtung Sorcerer that surround the Shade of the Kama, and then kill the Shade after he begins to fight with a Kama. Exit the room and return to Seer Kanai at coordinates 6250 and turn in the quest. We survive. What you need. Except the fall of the betrayer from Locked Sir Kanai. Progress through this raid instance, killing the bosses as you work your way to Illidan. Be wary, friends. The betrayer meditates in the court just beyond. Your duplicity is hardly surprising. I should have slaughtered you and your malformed brethren long ago. We've come to end your reign, Illidan. My people and all of Outland shall be free. Boldly said, but I remain unconvinced. Five. The time Four, has come. Three, the two, moment is at hand. One. You are not prepared. Come, Grimby. Deal with this traitor as he is. I will not be touched I'll by a wrath. I'll do you. Right now, friend. Blade right now, friend. is finally over. Today, justice will be done. <sighs> it is finished. You are beaten. You have won, my But the Huntress is nothing without the hunt. You are nothing. He is right. I feel nothing. I am nothing. Farewell, champions. The light will bless these dismal halls once again. I swear it. 
After you defeat Illidan Stormrage, travel back down to Sir Kanai at coordinates 6250 and turn the quest in. Sir Kanai will award you with the Blessed Medallion of Karabor, which will allow you to teleport to the entrance of Black Temple. If you like this video guide series, please subscribe to my channel for more guides and updates. Go on then.